One of the most hateful and controversial figures in the history of Roblox has accidentally revealed their return to their old stomping grounds. Former Royal High influencer and Roblox Twitter menace Imcat has returned with a Twitch stream going over what led to her departure. Half of you are probably disappointed in this news while the other half is probably wondering who Imcat is, so let's review what she's known for. Imcat was one of the most popular members in the Royal High community, a once relatively peaceful and harmless space. Although she was a Royal High influencer, most of her posts were art retweets and about supposed social issues in that community. Imcat had a huge following of over 16,000 followers on Twitter, most being kids seeing that she was a Royal High person. Unfortunately, Imcat had a large influence over those kids and turned Royal High Twitter into a toxic mess that spilled over into the rest of the RTC. She was a self-proclaimed activist, although the topics and methods of her activism were questionable to say the least. Although she would often strive for equality, her activism seemed to be acting more towards belittling certain groups and putting others before them. She had a noted dislike for white people, including saying things like, black people will never like white people. That tweet, a reply, got 73 likes and only 5 responses, showing how she got people to mostly support those ideas. Imcat's activism without belittling of other people would often be over the top, like when she tried to bar certain ethnic groups from saying words like sus. She also oddly got upset at native representation in the game for some reason. Why, I'm not sure, because there's clearly nothing wrong here. The effects that Imcat had on that community can still be seen. Just the other day a fan of hers was talking down to white people while saying Imcat wasn't racist. To the surprise of everyone, she was mysteriously invited to RDC last year, but was banned from attending maybe a week or two before it began. That came after her Twitter account was hacked and used to spam bad stuff then later call her out on her racism more. She tried to return but was immediately met with allegations of financial and emotional misconduct from her ex-partner Alex Tanuki. Imcat has not really been heard of in public since that went down in September of last year. Until now. She hosted a Twitch stream in which she responded to some prior incidents along with accidentally revealing her new identity. It's an hour and a half long and mainly goes over her relationship with Alex Tanuki but touches on other things too. And before we get into this, I just want to make it clear that I'm making this video for a reason, not just to make fun of anyone, so stay tuned. Imcat starts off talking about why she was kicked from RDC, blaming it mostly on hackers posting some pretty bad words on her account. She says that she was framed and that the RDC staff wouldn't accept her proof that she was hacked, alluding to the reason for her, their ignorance being race related. I showed everything, I showed context, I showed my account being hacked, how it wasn't me making those tweets and no one tried to answer my support requests. I was turned down, I was ignored and shunned. And I don't want to, I want to say a specific line along with that. But I don't want people to think, oh, you're making it about race. So I won't say that, but. The part about the hacker's nasty tweets may have played a part, but those hackers leaked her DMs, which showed race conspiracies and more hate to white people. You can find tweets directed at the Roblox Developer Relations account, questioning Imcat's RDC invitation and showing those leaked DMs. She then begins talking about her relationship with Alex Tanuki and some of the issues they had, which lasts for over half the stream. I won't go too much into it since it's kind of private stuff, but she mentions that Alex Tanuki apparently gave money voluntarily. And that does seem to be the case in some instances, although in other cases it looks like Imcat was upset over not getting money. After the lengthy discussions of their relationship, Imcat talks about the situation in which her Twitter got hacked but accidentally reveals her current account in the process. This is it. I'm not showing it in this video so nobody crazy attacks it or whatever, but she has a new account and I'm somehow already blocked. In fact, hundreds of people have been blocked, not only YouTubers or those who spoke out against her, but totally random people. People figure she auto-blocked those who follow a certain person, but I'm having a hard time figuring out who that person may be. You would assume it'd be Ruben Sim or Alaskan Reality, two people who called her out and who she says hacked her, but I saw accounts blocked that followed neither. She would later go on to go over a doc she made for her first return that was cut short when Alex Tanuki called her out and her second account was banned. Unfortunately, she ends off the live stream without taking any accountability for her racist ideas or any other stupid actions. There has seemingly been no change in Imcat's racist ideas, even kind of continuing to promote them when she's going over her document on stream. 
In a situation like I'm Cats, I personally feel she should be able to take accountability, fix her mistakes, improve upon herself, and return to the community. She has kind of returned, just under a different name, but there doesn't appear to be much accountability, righting of wrongs, or personal changes. She defended herself a lot in the stream, which is fine, but there is a noticeable lack of recognition of many of her wrongdoings and learning from them. The reason I'm making this video is because I'm Cat is someone you can learn from, not from what she says of course, but by her actions, or lack of actions. When you mess up, especially big time like I'm Cat has, you gotta understand you made a mistake, mend that mistake and learn from it. I've made mistakes but I've acted upon them, I fixed them, I took accountability, and learned from them, and they're no longer issues. I'm Cat kinda just ran from them, only to return and basically not do anything to resolve her racist ideas and the effects it had on her community. At the end of the day, everyone is a person, We've got the same heart, same blood, we just all look unique on the outside. Our actions are what define who we are, not our appearance, and unfortunately I'm Cat's actions show that she thinks the opposite of that. To summarize, don't be like how I'm Cat has been. When you make a big mistake, try to mend it, take accountability and learn from it so it doesn't happen again. Don't tear down others to build yourself up when striving for equality. And remember, a person's skin color does not determine who they are as a person. Currently, I'm Cat's new account has been reported for ban evasion as people are not accepting and are worried about her return.